Hey everyone, this is Angela from Blessed Angel 07. Happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday on my side of town. Um, this is my second video and I am excited about it. Um, so one, I'm Southern, Southern Belle and Proud. And number two, I'm a Christian. So my content will be based on all of that. That's the foundation. Um, but I wanted to make a quick video before heading off to work. Um, I am currently reading this book called Boundaries by I think Dr. John Townsend and Dr. Henry Cloud, but um, it's called Boundaries. Look it up on Google, but this book is so, it's such a blessing. <laughs> um, it's bib biblically based, <laughs> and which is perfect because I've always said Christians are not doormats because growing up, I thought we were, but I'm learning day by day that Christians, um, Christians, can have boundaries too. Boundaries are healthy. But to make a video short, keep it short, the title of this is called um, A Gift or a Debt. Because one thing I've learned in um, one of the chapters I'm reading is that um, when someone gives you something, if they cannot accept a sincere thank you, that means they didn't give you a gift. They gave you a loan or a debt. They expect you to return the favor or to pay it back. There's strings attached to it. And that could either be monetarily or emotionally or even physically. But if someone who loves you genuinely gives you a gift and there's no strings attached, you can tell them thank you and they accept the thanks. They expect nothing in return. I can't help but to think on salvation. God gave us a gift, his son, Jesus, and we receive it as a gift. There's no strings attached. You can accept the gift or not accept the gift. It's your choice. But once you accept the gift, he doesn't expect us to do a laundry list of all of these things to keep him happy or pleased with us. He just wants our faith, believing in him, believing that what he provided is more than enough and that we within ourselves, because he's in us, we're more than enough. But I needed this lesson because I am going through a transition right now where I'm learning that if someone gives me something, I've always struggled with, well, okay, let me pay this person back by buying their meal or by, um, you know what? I've dumped my problems on them. You know what? You dump your problems on me and so forth. And these are just general examples, but um, yeah, be encouraged. Decipher the difference between receiving a gift, whether it be someone's time, someone's money, someone's um, attention, anything. <laughs> um, discern the difference or if, for example, if you're wanting to move to another country and a family member says, well, after all I've done for you and I'm getting sick and I'm doing this and I'm getting that way. Oh, so all that you've done for me wasn't a gift. It was a loan. It was a debt. They couldn't accept your no, or they couldn't accept your choice or they, or they couldn't accept your boundary. There's so many examples and I can't go on and on because I have to go to work, but meditate on that reflect on that. I've been doing a lot of self-reflection lately and I'm here for it because it's part of the healing journey I'm on. Bring it on. But I, I encourage you all to meditate on when someone gives you something. If you tell them a thank you or give them thanks and they don't accept it, you don't have to receive it. Give it back. If they give you a, a monetary gift and you tell them thank you, and they expect you to say, well, I'll pay you back, give it back. But if they receive your thank you, then receive the gift, okay? So that's enough of ranting. These videos are so therapeutic for me because I have so much to say. And I'm finally finding my voice and I'm finally free to share my voice and to share my viewpoints. So I hope this blessed at least one person. And if it did, Please like, comment, subscribe, and feel free to share. And until then, we'll see you next time.